All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. I am still in Colorado. I have a few days left here um, before I leave to Georgia. And we got a bunch of rain the last day, so I'm gonna go look for salamanders in a new spot where I can hopefully find them. I do hear some boreal chorus frogs about this new spot, so hopefully I can find those. Um, but we'll see what we can find tonight. Um, if I don't see anything in either of the new spots I wanna check out, then I might just head to a reliable spot, see a few, um, and then I'll just hopefully find some snakes and turtles the next two days as it warms up a bit. Um, but we'll see what we can find. All right, guys, I kid you not, it had been five seconds. I ended that outro, turned on my flashlight to peek around the hole. The first hole I checked right here on the side of the trail, and there was this tiger salamander in it. Um, I'm going to keep all these clips short uh, unless we see a really, really nice looking one, but fairly large individual right here. Awesome that it's already working out. Um, it looks good on Google Maps, um, and it, it obviously should be good, so we'll see what we can find tonight. Alrighty guys, here we have a boreal chorus frog. Um, there was just kind of this ditch of water on the side of the road um, and I heard a few things, a few of these guys calling out so I came over and was able to spot this guy. Um, it's always good seeing native frog species, um, especially in areas that aren't far from uh, more residential areas where there tend to be a lot more bullfrogs. So it's good to see these guys instead of bullfrogs, but we'll want this guy to continue to just chill in his little pool here. All right, right here, this one is in C2. We'll leave it alone here. I um, won't bother about touching it, but this guy definitely has a bit more patterning than that last one. He's just sitting right on the shoreline here. Super awesome. Um, but we'll just leave him alone, admire it for a bit, and then we'll get out of here. All right, well, we've had a strong start not long after. Looked in a little hole, and we got a woodhouse toad right here. Um, definitely common species, obviously, throughout all of Colorado. Um, but good to add the species list for the day. Um, this might be my first one of the year as well. Um, but I don't think there's too many more species that we could find out here. Um, but we're going to see if we can find, just find some more, um, enjoy them all. But we'll leave this guy on his way. Had to get very muddy to get a hold of this guy though. All right, salamander number two right here. Um, definitely smaller than the last. Um, I think the goal of tonight is to maybe hit a few more spots just to figure out if they're there or not and also just maybe find a really really cool looking salamander um not to diss on this guy or anything but just to see if we can find a really really unique looking one which would be awesome all righty guys we found a really good looking one right here fairly large i was in this little pool area looking at a boreal chorus frog when I saw its head sticking out of the water and I, I couldn't see it at first. It just was kind of shining in my light and I thought it was maybe another boreal chorus frog. And I went over and it was this amazing looking salamander just foraging around in this puddle here. Um, really, really good looking dude. Um, I'm definitely gonna snap a couple more pictures of it. Um, so I'm not gonna let it go quite yet, but you can kind of see how big it is here. Not huge, but the coloration is just beautiful. All right, it is time to let this guy go. And we'll let him continue to mess around in this pool here. All righty, we just cruise a toad up here. Looks like we got wood has his toad. Don't really know what else it would be. Um, it's kind of funny, instead of hopping across the road, he's slowly walking across the road. So I kind of thought it was a salamander at first. Um, but we'll just get this guy off the road. Um, fairly sized guy, but they can definitely get much bigger. Um, but cool to add to the count. Well, it's now in the morning. I'm going to do some herping. And this hawk right here is eating a plains garter snake. Um, which I guess is a good sign that they're out. Cool to see a hawk just right here. You can kind of see it lifting up that snake right there. But it's a plains garter snake that it's eating right now. Um, but hopefully I'll find a few of those guys in a second. But cool to see the hawk out here. Alrighty, we got a wandering garter snake right here. First one of the year. Flipped under, under this uh, old sheet of roofing. Um, and there's actually another one with it. I tried to snap an NC2 pick and then the other one got away. Um, but they're just both sitting together. Definitely a lot of energy, which is kind of surprising for this early in the morning, but it's warming up pretty quickly. And I guess under a warm black piece of material, it could be heating up pretty quick, but we're gonna let this guy go here. All right, and number two right here, much smaller one underneath the next piece. 
Um, but he's kind of pooping all over me, and so I'm just gonna let it go. So I don't have to worry about it much longer. I'm gonna let it go back under its piece right here. Come on. All right, two more. I'm just gonna let them go underneath after we actually let's get a quick closer look. Um, but all these metal, or not these metal pieces of roofing, but these pieces of roofing here. Um, it's an old bike track that someone tried to make. And it's definitely just been overrun. I'm gonna let these guys go now. All right, well we saw the one getting eaten by a hawk earlier today, but now we have an alive and in hand plains garter snake. Um, just in that same stack of the stuff as well. Um, definitely a really good area right here. Um, so we'll let this guy go. It's definitely a better looking plains garter snake. Some solid orange striping at least. But there he goes. Alrighty, we're headed to that snapper right now. Uh, the water isn't too deep. It's kind of hard to see right now because I muddied it all up. But the mud is very deep. Um, but I decided to carry my phone. Oh, it's moving, so I gotta hurry. I'm carrying my phone over with me just because I know I'm not getting that snapping turtle back to the other side of the pond. So I'm just gonna get pictures and stuff of it here absolutely awesome this is a big one i'm pretty sure this is a recapture definitely one i've seen before um but a massive snapping turtle i might try to set up my phone on the shore somewhere all righty well it's hard to get good pictures and video especially while uh I'm by myself out here on the water. It's hard to hold it and film at the same time, obviously. I don't think it's even possible. So we're just gonna let it continue to bask. Alrighty, I walked around that side of the pond and now I'm in the moss area, but I'm making sure to obviously step only where I can see. Sticking right out of the moss up here. A big snapper, another one. This pond is awesome. It's likely a recapture as well. Um, not positive, I know the last one was. Um, <laughs> but although now all the moss is pushing it over that guy I'm going to set my phone down though real quick alrighty we're going to let this guy go back off into the mud underneath his moss my hand for size comparison another big dude um, going to continue to walk around the pond watch my step but we'll see what else we find Alrighty, this is number three. Another massive one. It was a little bit further out there in the pond that I was thankfully able to get to. Um, but he's being a big pain, definitely a feisty one. And I don't blame him. I pulled him out while he was moving around. We can kind of see for size comparison right here. I can only see a little bit of him and my shadow's in the way. But really just an awesome, awesome turtle. You can see how big that tail is and how much further it goes out. Um, I'm gonna just let it go on its way. I wanted to show how big its claws were, but I don't think it's worth, worth the hassle. But there he goes. All right, I moved on from the pond. Awesome seeing all those guys. And we got a board right here that has had some success in the past, but doesn't look like there's any, oh wait, I'm literally blind. I think that's a Sertalus. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh yeah, here <laughs> we got a red-sided garter snake right here. The red is super, super faded. Um, you can see it's deep in shed, if it'll focus. It has a really milky eye, but yeah, you can see faint red right there, barely. I thought it was maybe a boring looking wandering garter snake for a second. Um, but yeah, you can see that milky eye. Definitely deep in shed, but third garter species of the day. Um, that's actually, the reason we set these boards out here is Forester Talus, um, these red side garter snakes, and it definitely has paid off. We found a few here and got another one today. But awesome, we could see this guy. Um, I'm gonna snap a few pictures and I'll let it go. Alrighty, and we'll let this guy go. Just back under the board. We'll probably shed soon. Um, but definitely solid board here. Alrighty guys, first snake of the day. Hayden just flips this line snake right here. Um, but we're probably gonna see quite a few more of these guys, at least we hope. So we're just gonna let it go back under its rock, but we'll see how many fossorials we can find today. 
Alrighty, line snake number two. Hayden put this one as well. A little bit bigger than the last one. Um, a little bit duller coloration. Um, I mean, they're always pretty brown and gray, but that stripe is still a little, little dull. Decent stomach. Um, but we'll let this guy go on its way. All right, so Hayden's taking some pictures, and he flipped this snake as well. And a beautiful, beautiful little milk snake right here. Um, definitely, this is an area where they're harder to pull up, uh, harder to find out here. And high red, just a gorgeous little milk snake. Um, we should be, we're gonna flip for a few hours. Hayden has a class later this afternoon. Um, well, we've been, we've already been spending a bit of time taking pictures of this guy. We were absolutely stoked when we flipped it. Still stoked, obviously, because it's just a gorgeous little milk snake. The patterning is really cool. The On the sides, it kind of starts to cut off sooner and kind of reminds me of the eastern milks. Uh, not that I've seen any in person, but just from other pictures and stuff that I've seen of other people finding them. That spot right there kind of reminds me of eastern milks. But just a gorgeous, gorgeous little milk snake. Um, we're gonna snap a few pictures and then we'll let him go. But the day is made. Even if we found nothing else for the next few hours, it would definitely be worth of coming out here today. Alrighty guys, we definitely spent a good amount of time with this guy taking pictures um, and a worthy snake to do so with, but we're gonna let it go. We'll get one last look at that stomach. Really cool individual right here. But we're gonna let this guy go and hopefully Hopefully since it's a baby, there's a good sign that there could be more around here. And we'll see what else we can find. Alrighty, not long after, I finally flipped a snake and we got a really, really large line snake right here. Here's a nice look at that stomach. The double black dots down the whole stomach are always really cool. Um, definitely some interesting behavior from this guy, but largest one so far. It's a really good rock. It looks great from the start and he just pooped on me. But we're gonna let this guy go back under his rock. Alrighty guys, we had a slow period for a little bit. Um, we decided to kind of start to slowly walk down to a just a little bit different habitat than where we were. And uh, got another juvenile milk snake right here. And it's likely that this is a sibling of the other one. Um, but we're absolutely stoked right now. Um, just crazy that it's been three line snakes and then two milk snakes. Normally you're gonna find a lot more, a lot more other fossorials other than just two milk snakes in this area, but super awesome. We'll let him go here in a bit. Alrighty, one last look at this little guy. Um, so we're just gonna set it back under the rock here. Oh yeah. Alrighty, one last look at this guy. This is probably the biggest of the three, but they're likely all siblings. Um, kind of hoping to find mom or dad or something along here. Maybe a bigger one soon, but uh, we'll set this guy back underneath its rock. Super, super awesome.